I'll get to it. <laughs> well, cool. So as I, as I was playing with this, and Dom said, hey, try it out, um, you know, of course, I got kind of excited, and I was like, oh, man, look at it. And, and then I realized when I was playing with this in hubs and moving it around, I started getting ideas about, like, well, what if it, you treated it less like a camera and more like a mirror? <laughs> um, you know, people get really excited about, uh, you know, other social VR things where you can see yourself in the mirror and stuff, and so that's definitely uh, possible to do. And I, I wanted to pull in a few examples of um, some some things that I tried out. And so this this is just a what I call simple mirror. Now uh, the clipping distance, which I'll go back and talk about in a second, um, is set very low on this. So the camera is only rendering to a certain distance, and then it anything beyond that it stops and so that's why in this particular example um, it's like white because <laughs> it's actually just drawing the background mm -hmm. of the scene which happens to be just plain white um, so as I and as by I scaling it you actually are increasing the <laughs> right because because the camera itself is getting scaled and so mm -hmm. its distance is increasing but um, there's basically a camera behind here pointed toward us and so when I stand here I see uh, sort of like a mirror and as I was playing with this I was like wow this is really cool it's like it's like a mirror you can get in front of it and talk about your avatar and change outfits and things like that but it didn't really feel quite like a mirror because I was like well when you when you move your head left and right in a mirror the background changes it doesn't right. it's not just flat on a on a thing like this and then I started thinking well what if we could hack around that a little bit and try to make something interesting and so I'll show you how I did this in a minute, but I tried this one that I called uh, Fancy Mirror, which I think still works. So this one isn't quite like a mirror either. Uh, in this case, I made the draw distance uh, a little more normal. But what is cool about this is the camera that's looking at you through the mirror, mirror in quotes, uh, <laughs> is set to billboard. And a billboard component is the thing that makes a thing always face you, no matter where you go. And so I was like, what if I did that on the camera itself? Um, and so as I move, you'll see that the, the camera actually is trying to always face me. Now, that's not really how a mirror works, right? Um, you wouldn't see yourself in the mirror if you went all the way over here. But I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. It's that's a really interesting effect that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> like when you said you added a billboard, I was like, yeah, well, we do have a billboard component. And so, of course, you can add it to the to the camera that's rendering um, to the surface. And it's it's a pretty interesting, interesting effect. And what it made me realize was that it almost looked more like I was looking through it, like a portal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then that led to some experiments like this one. Um, I'd made one that's just called Magnifier, mm -hmm. where the camera is where I am right now. Um, except I can move this around and it acts like a magnifying glass. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's really weird. And if I, so like if I move it up here and then slide it over, you see, oh, there's Dom and now he's really big. Oh, it's actually like on him. And if I yeah. scale it up, you know, you get a different sort of magnification. And the reason this, um, I, I'm assuming the reason that this looks so bright relative to the other things is you, you probably have this one set to the emissive map as well. So it's both... It's rendering both as the base color and the emissive, and so it ends up being kind of blown out like that. Yeah. Um, if you don't set an emissive map, um, I think it'll look more uh, natural. Like, like you're just looking straight through a thing. Right, yeah. Um, and so let me just pop back over to, to Blender really quick, just in case that's like confusing and you're like, what am I actually looking at here? <laughs> so um, the, let's go, I have to find it. I'll go back in a second, but. Um, like here's the magnifier one. Let me you pop. gotta flip your. I know. I gotta. I gotta. Yep, there you go. I didn't want people just watching me do nothing in the file oh, yeah. thing. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. So here, here is what's actually happening. It's the same setup as I just showed, more or less, um, except the camera uh, is pointed toward the surface, and so you know, like when you're in here, you're you're on this side looking through, but the camera itself is attached to, is the child of a little empty, it's just a little helper that I called camera. Um, probably not the best name for that. Um, <laughs> and so it is the parent of the camera. So as I move the camera around, um, move 
this node around the camera moves with it but the reason I put it there where right where the surface is is so that when you rotate um, this is set to billboard it has a billboard component on it which you can see over here on the side and that makes it always face you so if I go over here what's actually happening is this is trying to rotate to look the same way that I'm looking mm -hmm. through there and if I go up over here then this is trying to uh, uh, it's really hard to do. Uh, then it's trying to, <laughs> to trying to do this, and like you know, point up at me. Right? Yeah, and these um, using empties like this is is actually a really um, like it, it's going to become more and more common, <laughs> I, I think, uh, as we add more components. Because um, right now, like not, you know, not everyone knows you you can add um, lots of the components that we have in hubs, like spawn points, waypoints, you know, videos, all, all those sorts of things. Um, directly in Blender, and typically the way you'd want to do it is just to put it on an empty node. And there, there are um, a bunch of different kinds of empties you can add to. Um, all, all it does is change the visual style of how they're rendered in the, in the viewport there. But some so like, look like a cube, or exactly. some look like a circle. Or... So for like spawn points, I like to use the arrow, the up, the up pointing arrow, because that like that feels like a spawn point. Um, you know, uh, the, this doesn't affect the export at all. This is just for when you're working in Blender. Um, but yeah, using empties, you can do lots of interesting things. Like 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 you're doing here, you're using this empty as a pivot point um, for this camera. Because you can't change the pivot of a camera. Like exactly. it, it's always right there at its mm -hmm. at its eye, uh, that little point. So sort of hacking around that. And so that that led to some interesting findings. So like this is that the way I did that lens. Now, when I did um, a mirror, what I found was it was really weird to like because it's a camera pointing at you. Uh, and you're probably familiar familiar with this using like a webcam is like it wasn't it wasn't moving like a mirror I would move mm -hmm. left and it would move right and vice versa and so I was like oh wait I actually need the image to be flipped and so what I did to handle that was just go into the UV editor and flip the UVs around I just scaled them negative one yep. on the x-axis and so it's still the camera's still sending the same image, but at the end, I'm flipping it onto the surface, and that's actually what we do with the um, the little snapshot camera in hubs mm -hmm. when you're when you're pointing it at yourself. We we flip that image. Yeah, we, the front the front facing one is is flipped, and the uh, the reverse one is not flipped. But then that got me thinking about well, if you if it's just UVs, <laughs> well, the UVs can be manipulated, and so mm -hmm. that's kind of interesting. So I did a repeat example with this um, the same like magnifier idea except instead I did I did one where I edited the UV so if you look at this um, and I open it up the UVs actually look like that um, and yeah, if, someone, if this were a class I would say does anybody about... in the class know what would happen by shrinking the UVs in the middle you might say oh it's going to make the image smaller and would they be right Dom uh, I wasn't, I was reading chat. I'm sorry. It would be the opposite. <laughs> it would actually make, make things bigger in the middle. It's, right. it's opposite in UV space. So this one is identical to this kind of uh, magnifier idea. Um, except, let me switch back to spoke so you can see it. Except instead, this one, the UVs are stretched. And so the illusion is that the image is an actual like fisheye lens in the middle because we're bubbling out the UVs. And so, you know, you start thinking about how you could use this either maybe on an avatar or, or something else, um, you know, to make, make an interesting look. And so, someone in chat was also mentioning, uh, yeah. sorry, that's why I was distracted. They were saying, what would what happen if you put the UV scroll uh, on the video texture? And that, that totally should work. I, I haven't tried that, but there's no reason that shouldn't also work. Yeah, it would just take whatever you're seeing here and just scroll and it scroll and repeat across, it. Exactly. But then, you know, with the stuff you've done with UV scrolls, I bet you can do some interesting, interesting weird. <laughs> sure. And like this, this is distorting them fairly uniformly, like in, in the middle. Um, but that means you could also make them kind of wobbly and wavy. Like mm -hmm, if you start mm -hmm. moving the points around so that it looked like you were looking through like glass block or a shower door or something like that. Yep. Um, but I thought this was kind of cool, and it, it made me want to make uh, more, more types. Like this one was a little more interesting because it, it does the opposite. Like the middle is more um, straight, and then the edges are, are fish-eyed. It's almost right. like you're looking through a, a convex lens or something. Um, 
uh, and it's not like it's more expensive or anything. It's just mm -hmm. kind of cool. And so you're you're showing this all on flat surfaces, but this also can apply to any just literally this is just the material. So this can apply to any uh, you know, any 3D object you want. And it's really cool because it it ends up feeling like some kind of really fancy rendering effect, mm -hmm. like a shader or something. But it's not. It's just um, some simple stuff. And then, uh, you know, I, I I kept going with this and and you know finding interesting uh, things. Like I thought, well, what about a mirror where um, you don't have to move to see all sides of yourself. And I was like, you could make, you could make a mirror that basically was rotating around yourself. So in this case, the camera is where it was in the Blender file, but I'm animating that empty. Uh, or actually, yeah, I think I had an empty um, to uh, just spin around in a circle. There might be a glitch in there at one point, but not so great animation. The animation, yeah. But that's pretty cool. It's like if I wish I, I wish my mirror did that. I could see the back of my head. They're like <laughs> when I left a tag on me recently. Um, so yeah, that that's just another use. And um, there is one more DOM that I didn't show you. Oh boy. Um, that yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I have this set up in another room already, but I, I might as well just show it here because it's it's pretty easy to do. Um, oh wait, no. Sorry, there's a couple more. This one was similar. Dom said, he just mentioned this, you can put it on a 3D surface. So, so this cylinder actually ends up looking like um, like it's refracting the light going right. through it, like a lens. Um, now, this one's working a little bit differently. I'm doing the same thing with the camera. It's billboarding, so it, it wants to stay where your head is, um, except the cylinder itself is actually billboarding, although you can't tell. Um, so that the center of its texture is always right where you are. So I have a billboard component on both the camera and the object. So you're always seeing directly through the, the middle of it. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, that's just a neat, a neat effect. I, I haven't really seen what happens like if you rotate this. Oh, and you can see it has some shininess on it too. Um, and I may have tinted this one a bit to be uh, like slightly light blue or something. Yeah, I mean, so so uh, that's that's worth pointing no, out. It's like, all, all the weird. other all the <laughs> other material properties um, will carry through on this. So yeah, if you set like um, you know the surface color, like if you set it to something that's not white, um, it's gonna you know be multiplied against this texture. So that, like this is literally just replacing the map on this material, uh, either the base color map or the emissive map or both. Um, this one's pretty cool. Um, I originally put this in the gathering space. It's pretty big, but this is four screens. And in the center, you would stand. And there's a camera that's animated spiraling up and down through the scene um, and showing showing us like we're on a dance floor, hmm. uh, like moving around, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So animating the camera is fun. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. So like, you know, you could do, oh, sorry, I have so many examples, I keep forgetting that. I did one with a security camera that follows you with a billboard. Oh yeah, that one, I like that one. That cool. um, this, let me find that really fast. Um, and so so one cool thing is, so now that we have this video texture source component, um, we should be able to use this for other things too, like, you know, um, recording to a video or like maybe setting the video texture source as the stream camera, like for, um, you know, when people are watching from the lobby, um, you can use that camera instead. Um, there are lots of different things we can do with this. So there's a billboard component on the, the not on the mount of the camera, but on the lower part, so it always points at you, which is a little unsettling. But then I, it's kind of funny because for everyone, it's point, like it's pointing at me and you at this. Like I'm seeing it pointing at me. You're seeing right. It if we could show Dom's screen, he would <laughs> he would see it pointing at himself. Um, and so it's you know it's showing an image of me wherever I go. Um, and those don't necessarily have to be next to each other of course mm -hmm. they could be apart from each other um and then all i did was add a in my material for the screen i added a, a mix rgb node in there to tint it green so it looked a little bit night visiony um, just for fun maybe eventually we'll get some camera effects and things like that but right now we don't have a lot of post-processing things happening um but then there was one more that I wanted to show, and this this one I wanted to surprise you with, Dom, that I made last night. All right, I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I'm building it up too much, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Where are they? They're in my 
People, people in chat are really excited about this stuff there. Oh, good, good. That's great to hear. And and feel free if you have questions and things along the way. Uh, we're gonna wrap up fairly soon, but um, they, they are asking if this is gonna be a regular thing us doing streams, and I hope so. We we were doing them for yeah. a while and then we got got busy, but hopefully we'll have a bunch of stuff to keep showing. Yeah, this. So this one I made a little mini scene with a with a plane flying through it, which you can see if you look down in the model that's really hard to rotate this properly but oh uh, that's like on the little yeah so if you look down in this model there's a plane flying around you see it i see it yeah <laughs> a little red plane and there's a camera behind it wow that's parented to it and the camera's showing you what the plane sees that's really cool <laughs> Hold and on, so let me see if I can get my, let you me can see make your little West head. World map or whatever. Uh, get my big head in here somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh, it eventually it will fly by Dom's head. Oh, there it is. I saw it for a second. <laughs> I was testing. I was I was uh, spawning a duck and and dropping it in there. I think it's mostly flying through my head. There's the back of my head there. There's the duck. That's oh, inside my head. He's big. This, this Let's shrink head. this duck down so he's not Godzilla. Well, he'll still be pretty damn big, and I'll put him down <laughs> in here. I think he f I think it flies kind of right in there at some point. I have to see if I can find the screenshot of the original. When I was originally testing this with Christian, I accidentally did a thing where... There it goes. I oh, the duck. He flew right through the duck. I spawned in the scene and then Christian had spawned into the mini version of the scene and we hadn't really, like we didn't we weren't seeing each other and we weren't sure why and then I realized he was in the snow globe that I was holding. Ah, uh, uh, that's funny. Let's see if I can find a photo of it. All right, it's going to fly by the duck again if you want to see it. <laughs> I know, very exciting, but this is this is content right here. There it goes. Um, so I don't know, I was just trying to come up with different ideas and stretching this, this thing a little f uh, further. And, and it's really cool to see, you know, uh, combining things like billboard component and the video texture components. And hey, I found I'm you. sure there are things that I haven't thought of yet um, that you could try out. And I would love it if you guys would, you know, just play around with this a lot and share, share what you go to our show and tell channel in our discord and, you know, even if they're just little simple tests like this, you could take a screen grab or post a mm -hmm. link to a room. Or, we'll or, check or like if it's a scene, you can bring it to the meetup and, and we'll, we'll check yeah. it out. 